So it's the Stimuli VR. Mm -hmm. And the headset is called the 2V. The 2V. 2VR. Oh. Okay, gotcha. And so, um, so it folds up mm -hmm. to make it more transportable. But you've got the case in case anybody has a real anchoring foot looking like, like the, the older yeah. virtual reality Well, I guess depending upon what um, show or game you're featuring, you could change the case to match, right? Exactly. That sounds kind of fun. Yeah, so we could white label uh, anything, uh, offer promotions to anybody interested in using our headset for a giveaway or even sponsoring their own content. How much is it? it? So it usually retails for $30 online, but for today we're actually running a special promotion. It's just $20. I see. Yeah. 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 Cool. I like this. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. We're going to be here till the end of the day in case you want to write. We are cubes. Basically an open top pod. Hi. Good. Are you guys now and our number one goal is safety and we try to make every experience as comprehensive and cohesive as possible. Um, having the wire hanging from the top allows us to maneuver it around people easier. Right. People get ta tangled up less, they don't step on it as, yeah. a, as they would have been hung on the ground. It's just overall better and uh, the bungee system that we're using as you can see it bounce it gives just nice. enough live. like people can you know duck if they have to. You don't feel. Exactly. Yeah. And also it's just less up. weight on the back of your head. How much does that thing weigh? The pod? Uh, after the headset itself? No the pod. Oh the pod. Um, do you guys, um, how do you work with the pod? Are you um, renting them? Or? Yeah so Exit Reality uh, who I work for um, is the company that makes uh, this to you. Uh -huh. Computers, the guides, all of this is going on. The the game itself, raw data by studios, uh -huh. is um, the uh, experience we're debuting. So I what see. we do is we uh, take their experience and we put people in it. Uh, we tell them the controls, we make them feel safe, we make it look really cool, mm -hmm. and then when they go in, they're able to experience it in the most comfortable way possible. Okay. Yeah, so we work really hard. We do make these in-house. We actually have a fabrication shop in Oakland. Uh -huh. We uh, fence this metal with a giant break. We uh, oh, rivet nice. it all in, make it look really nice. Uh, we make it portable so that we can take it anywhere. I mean, we had to fit this entire thing in a freight elevator that's uh -huh. like small. Oh right, you gotta fold it up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So all the panels come apart. Uh -huh. um, all, every piece of this is basically collapsible so we can take it where we need it to go. Nice. Um, and yeah, we uh, have these here. Uh, these two, we have them on the East Coast. We have uh -huh. permanent locations in San Francisco where we're based. Uh -huh. We actually have a virtual reality truck as well, which uh, has all of this in the back. So we can drive up and do VR. Oh nice, yeah. good job. Thank you, yeah. This is a woman in gaming display. The Entertainment Software Association Foundation. 30% of the most frequent game purchases are women. Is that true? Huh? 20% of video game industry work is a woman. Approximately 30% of students enrolled in college and university video game design programs are women. Hmm. Nice. Higher Education Video Game Alliance. Makes me curious as to how people are leveraging this technology beyond the home-based game. I would think that like they lend out the uh, 3D glasses at the movie theater, you might be able to get some sort of group activity going. Oh, hmm, I guess there are these game rooms where you can get together and play. Um, hmm. Is it always going to be small format game rooms? Question. This one's called the Miro. This looks interesting. This one is a game playing dome. Playing Sonic the Hedgehog game. It's a trampoline.
height of the ring depending upon the height of the person? I don't know. I haven't looked at paying attention. Okay, because here's a bigger guy. It's still pretty high. get to do Christmas for the iPhone 6, 6S, and 7. And then it's um, holographic, and you can play games and whatnot with it. Um, you get to see how it goes. But you can also see through the screen. Okay. So, uh, you gotta switch it up. Yeah, this is a Mira Prism headset. This Mira are, prism headset. Yes, this fully lenses are magnetic. They snap on. Oh, nice! The lenses are fully transparent, but reflective at the same time. So you can see through them, and also yeah. holograms would be projected at the same time. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Cool. The advantage of these lenses is that it uses your phone, mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about the expense of expensive hardware right, which right. are used. So these headset with the remote is just for ninety nine dollars. And then, um, what are there electronics in the headset? It's just your phone which goes inside. Nothing There's no else. electronics. Okay. Once you take out your phone, this is all plastic wow. and glass. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, cool. And so it just like snaps, clicks into place. It's uh -huh. really easy. Mm -hmm. It's basically, so it's, it's like a very soft fabric on top. And then this is super durable. Uh -huh. And the, the lenses themselves are actually magnetic. So you can take them off and on. And then and you're like, sorry, go ahead. For the content? Yeah. Where do you go? So it's an application and it ships with uh, all the content available. So we're launching our developer kit this fall and then our consumer kit arrives this spring. 
Okay, and um, what's the development? Okay. Would you like to play with the joint? Yeah. You can also join the other thing. The new Apple, like AR, VR thing that they announced in the last WWDC. So our the advantage of a software development kit is you don't have to worry about which kit you want. You can use any kit that okay. you want yeah. and make games out of it. Yeah, and make your app, your projection. Our, app our apps are not your... using AR kit okay. because AR kit are only used for 6s and plus. Where right. our our model is also compatible with phones and iPhone 6. Okay. Alright. And iOS 11 hasn't been launched yet. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so right. do you have to like turn up the brightness extremely high? Because with normal VR, you just are looking directly at the screen of the phone. But with this, you're like reflecting off. So uh, like, do you artificially enhance the brightness of the screen while you okay. you like bump it up to max or be on max? max? Okay. Hence the brightness of the screen. It's like a cap. You can okay. adjust this. That's much you better. Have to the dice, your hands can free. Glasses are a little odd with it. Oh no, you can put it up. It goes over your glasses. Oh. I can put it this up. Let oh. me know if it hurts. I see, so... Yep. It feels a little like it might slip off. You can put it up and down. Yep. Okay, it's a little warm on the forehead for oh, cold weather. Oh, this phone has been demoing since morning. Oh. So it's been six hours since that phone is off. Six hours demoing. Yeah. So what are we doing here? So basically you are in a men menu. If uh -huh. you hold this remote in your hand, uh -huh. try to move it as a fishing rod. Uh, you press the start button which is just above. Right. You get a fishing rod. And then what? Oh, rod. I see. Oh, fishing rod. Yeah, go to the rocket symbol which is the purple icon. Uh -huh. Press the trigger button, which is at the back of the remote. Uh huh. Yep. And you enter Mira space right now. Okay. Uh, you get some text. Displays. I haven't seen the text yet. Yep. yep. I don't uh, get the text yet. Oh, you don't get the text yet? Did I? Just a second. I don't know. Do you press the back button? No. There's only one button, right? Uh, the button at the back, you gotta press this one? Yeah, I press oh, that yeah. once. Okay, okay. Oh. Maybe it's the phone too hot. Not yeah, maybe, button. because remember it's kind of hot. Yeah. Okay. And press it again. Okay. It went away again. It went away again. Okay. Okay, got oh, back. welcome yeah. to the mirror yeah. prism. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you are, it's like VR, you can move 360 degrees on your chair sure. and see more objects. The arrow will point you, yeah. you can use the trigger to kill the, your enemies. Okay, okay. And you're going to save okay your right planet. there is a planet, yeah, you can there's press a bad the guy, but where's, is it going to show me the fishing rod again? Oh, you, you cross the start, the start, start the button, start. <laughs> see the button below it, oh. uh, yeah, you have to get the spaceship. Oh, I'm in the, the spaceship, space. nice, I'm driving the ship. Cool. Can I can I drop can I dive games, into the planet? Why would I want to do VR uh, AR instead of VR? Ooh, because bad guys. Yeah. And you can use stuff like don't worry about your physical space. You don't have to be confined in a room. They can get able.